Air signs, welcome back to the channel. It's me, OU, with a tarot card message for you today. We are gathered uh, for some collective messages for the air signs, Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. Using the Light Seers tarot deck today, we have a lot of dragonflies out today. I've even had some try to headbutt me. Thank God I have a hat on. <laughs> But let's see what the universe has to say in regards to your energies today. Let's see what's grounding you, what's currently surrounding you, what's coming towards you. What's the advice in the therapeutic session for the air signs? All right, let's get into it. Let's see what spirit has to say. Any messages or any jumpers, any channel messages for the air signs today? Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. There we go. Six of Wands. Prime the energies one more time and let's get to your reading. All right, we got Ace of Pentacles, Windfall. You got some change coming towards you, maybe a big check, some sort of a house or home, mm -hmm. probably a new car, an apartment for some condo, maybe some sort of a return. Someone's paying you back for something here. Yeah, because you have a crowd around you. Maybe you're getting paid for something here. You're, you're getting paid for your presence here. So we have a model, yeah, Queen of Cups. Could be a singer or a dancer. But I'm getting like a model or something like that. Could be some sort of a popular healer. Ace of Pentacles. Some sort of a poet, possibly. This could be some sort of a tour that someone's going on. Maybe a comedian. The Queen of Wands is a comedian, right? Swaying the emotions of the people. Mm -hmm. See the crown of water here. Their uh, third eye is open, or their crown chakra, or yeah, their crown chakra is uh, highlighted here. So they could be receiving some sort of a divine connection, or um, they're connected connected with someone that's divinely connected, right? We talk about all the zodiac signs being seen as God, Gemini, right? Having two minds, you'll find God wherever there are two or more people. Mm -hmm. uh, the Queen of Cups, however. Probably a very emotional uh, individual themselves. It could be very nurturing, possibly a mother. We have five of cups, disappointment and upset. Um, okay, why are people upset here? Page of swords, they feel like, okay, so this could, this could either feel like you're stealing someone's content or that you need to put more research or effort into your work or your journey or whatever you're doing here. This could be people spying on you, analyzing you, critiquing you. Okay, drawing two cards again. The Emperor, Aries, Major Arcana, the Masculine. So we're playing a game of follow the leader here, Knight of Wands. Marching to the beat of their own drum, I guess, right? <laughs> More of that here, I can do it too. Comes right on top of Six of Wands. This could be compliments coming towards you here. The Magician, Queen of Cups, okay. Could be dealing with an, an energy vampire here. We have the five of cups coming up next, which I need to clarify. So let's see what clarifies it. Eight of swords, a energy vampire, or someone that only has confidence when they're around other people. This would be like women that can't be by themselves, or this is this could be men who are only confident when they have money. Mm -hmm. Ace of swords new ideas planning goals this could be a journal or a book or again someone doing research or investigating you here on top of the emperor the divine masculine we have the seven of swords very strategic holding back here withdrawing true leader uh, knows when to withdraw or when to concede some of us even know how to play dead right like some of the animals in nature or whatever, you allow someone to think that they beat you only to beat them in the long run, you know? People have the audacity to say, <laughs> you may have won the battle, but not the war, right? This is true in some instances. We have the Divine Masculine, the Emperor, and the Major Arcana, the Magician, Aries, and Air, uh, G uh, Gemini. And then uh, who else do we have? What's at the bottom of the deck? The Ferillion slip for a second. But we have major masculine energy, a um, magician <laughs> or a master manipulator, a divine masculine has decided to move here. Could be pulling strings from behind um, the scenes here, the seven of swords. 
we could see very intuitive, very charismatic, very intellectually, uh, yeah. Other people are on a page of wands, energy, and, and he or she, whoever this is, we have a lot of masculines on the table. We are, are feminine, but the, however, the divine masculine has shown up with a cloak over his head. So these people around him are page of swords, and he's the ace of wands in the situation. Extracting what is his here, legacy, or some sort of uh, funds or something. Not sure if this is some sort of a teacher or a debt collector. Sales funnel. This could be some sort of a group, like a uh, Patreon or OnlyFans. Or this person has a lot of people enamored with him. So this person has a lot of spectators and ongoers. Hmm. There's a lot of feminine coming towards this masculine as well. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. A lot of fanfare, a lot of celebrations, a lot of congratulations here. A lot of people seeking romantic uh, connections with this individual. This could also be networking. But that's what I have for you here today, uh, Aries. I'm sorry. You could be dealing with an Aries. That's my moon sign. Um, air signs. <laughs> and I usually misspell it when I'm uploading the videos to Aries. Air signs. I get so mixed up. <laughs> but yeah, that's what I have for you here today. Air signs. Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. Like, share, subscribe. Add value to the channel. Uh, don't forget to um, catch the other readings as well. Your north node placements as well. That shows you where you should be headed towards in life. Your rising sign will show what who you, the, your true person is, like what people, how people view you. Your your moon sign is your emotions, and then your sun sign is your soul. People don't necessarily see your soul; they see your rising sign, how you appear to people. Magical, intellectual, intellectual sage, and you see how I dress, and <laughs> you even see how I speak, how people uh, perceive me. But catch you guys on the next one. Peace.